Module 4. Priming Tray In addition to this training module, the LifeSpark Controller Operations Manual and LifeSpark Pump Directions for Use are available to assist you with pump preparation and setup. Preparation and setup will require both a sterile operator and a non-sterile operator. The non-sterile operator opens the priming tray package and presents it to the sterile operator. The sterile operator will remove the priming tray and place it in the sterile field. The sterile operator then unfolds the sterile drape by removing the tape and spreading out the drape. Next, the sterile operator removes and separates the contents of the priming tray, pump, oxygenator, and green oxygen supply line. Next, the sterile operator hands the pump power drive line to the non-sterile operator. The non-sterile operator removes the red protective cap and connects the pump drive line to the pump receptacle, located below the controller user interface. The sterile operator removes the red and blue protective tubing caps from the pump tubing and then plugs the pump inflow tubing into the basin's blue port, blue stripe to blue port. And the pump outflow tubing into the basin's red port, red stripe to red port. The sterile operator ensures the tubing is passed through the ports into the basin and that the basin is in the fill-ready position, tilted back and away from the blue port. The non-sterile operator fills the basin corner to corner with approximately 4,000 milliliters of saline. Once this is complete, the sterile operator places the lid back on the basin and tilts the basin to the prime-ready position to gravity prime the pump. It is important to ensure that all air has been removed from the pump housing. Note, lifting the priming tray helps to facilitate air removal. Manipulate the pump as necessary to ensure all air bubbles are removed. The non-sterile operator starts the pump. The sterile operator orients the oxygenator, so the outflow port is at the 12 o'clock position and gently taps the oxygenator to remove any air. The non-sterile operator stops the pump once he is satisfied that all air has been removed from the circuit. And the sterile operator clamps the inflow and outflow tubing. The non-sterile operator may press the alarm silence button to mute any alarms. Finally, the sterile operator tilts the priming tray back to the fill-ready position and removes the tubing from the basin. A final inspection is performed to ensure all air has been removed from the circuit. Once it is confirmed that all air has been removed, the sterile operator attaches the green oxygen supply line tubing to the gas in port on the oxygenator. The circuit is now ready for wet-to-wet -wet connections to the inflow and outflow cannulae.